Live from beautiful Coors Field here in Denver, Colorado. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Seattle Mariners going up against the Colorado Rockies. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. And now, your 2022 Colorado Rockies. Just about ready to roll here. And on the mound today, Herman Marquez. What do you look for here? Very solid starters, able to repeat his mechanics on a consistent basis, which allows him to move through a lineup and get deep into a ball game. So just about set now. Here's Adam Frazier. On the ground, right side. Rogers collects. Frazier retired. Batting second. The first baseman, number 23, Ty France. Stepping in, Ty France. Good contact guy, good defender. No score just getting started, top of the first. Next pitch misses. Three and one now. One down, base is empty. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there, on its way, gone. Ty France goes deep, and it gives him the lead in the first. It's 1-0. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Base is empty one away. Here's Jesse Winker. Next pitch inside, and that's ball three. And here it comes. And they're at the knees. Three and two now. Oh, he's realizing out there on the mound that he's got to settle in pretty quickly or else he's going to get hit hard in this first inning. Oh, and that deflects off his glove to first. And Winker is set down. Batting four. The right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. The 1 1. Oh, now this is blasted way back there on its way. Gone. Mitch Hanniger sent it out and they add to their lead. It's 2 0. A slider right down the middle of the plate. It's like slow motion for a hitter. You're just licking your chops, waiting for it to arrive, and you want to hit it a long way, and he did. Hey, Eugenio Suarez up to the plate now. The pitch. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Liner caught it second. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now a 2-0 ball game. We go to the bottom of the first. Starting on the mound in this one, Robbie Ray. Chris, what should we keep an eye on here with him? 
Well he comes at hitters with a five pitch mix so for him it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches depending on how things are going and how things are working. But if he can control four or even five of those offerings look out hitters it's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. Bottom of the first. Here's Charlie Blackman. One one now. Good eye in that spot. Ray, he has a reputation. I don't know, maybe a knack for working himself out of tough situations that he finds himself in. You know, you like that in a relief pitcher, but when you have it for a starting pitcher, a guy that can get out of a tight spot, that is pretty valuable. On the ground to first. France takes it to the bag. One up, one down. Batting second. No left fielder. Chris. Bryant. Here's Chris Bryant now. And you won't see the skipper rush to get somebody up in the bullpen as soon as he starts to see some signs of trouble. This guy's earned a longer leash, and because of that, confidence grows with the players and teammates playing behind him that when things get a little rough out there, they know he'll find his way through it. And a pitch. And one and two. How much of the ability to do that in a tight spot is the mental approach? I think it's very much being able to have a laser like focus, slow everything down, stay right in that moment, pitch to pitch, execution, and focusing on that catcher's mitt. Two two now. Foul ball, he stays alive. They all pitch. Base knock center field. Could be extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw in, and he'll reach second with one away. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. And it's second with one away. Ryan McMahon digging in for the Rockies. And a pitch. Bounding ball here. Rolls foul. Runner leads away at second. Chases that one out of the zone. And there's two away. That's that classic wipeout slider below the zone right there. Just nasty. Nice. Looks like a fastball the thigh high baseman. that you got to protect the zone. And then it's just that late Whoa. break that fools you and kind of makes you look silly. And here is C.J. Crone. The pitch. Way high there. And the count is two and two. Tying run at the plate. Come back to the mound. On to France. Crone retired. Play made. That ends the inning. The Rockies strand one. They trail things here. Two nothing. Back here in Denver. Top of the second. And here is J.P. Crawford. Swing and a miss. Now one and two. Left hand hitter waits. Popped up. Diaz under it. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one away. Well, that's a frustrating into the at bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was that right seven. down the middle. The I think he got a little too excited, four. came out of his mechanics. Leo. And instead of driving Rodriguez. that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. And here's the rookie center fielder, Julio Rodriguez. The 2 1. Popped up first base side. 
He makes the catch, and there's two down. Man, this is pretty amazing. This guy's very efficient out there on the mound right now. Just nine pitches in the first. He's got a chance to keep it to single digits again. Who does that? Two outs, base is empty. Now the left fielder, Jared Kellner. Right-hander kicks deals. Stays alive. And a payoff pitch. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. And that's ball four. Now a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to play off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Now it's Tom Murphy. Next offering is in for a strike. And the pitch. Got him looking. Out number three. Mariners lead one, but they hold the 2 0 lead. Bottom of the second. So in now for Colorado, Brendan Rogers. Gonna count one and two. Two straight. And the one two misses to even the count. Patrick Johnson calling the balls and strikes. Pretty standard zone for Johnson. Sometimes he might get a little jumpy, a little excited and expand the zone, but usually you at least feel like the guy on the mound is earning it. And that's important because you got to make guys earn it. And there's a fly ball deep right field. This one's got a chance. Up against the wall and brings it in. Well, those can be that pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into field. his highest gear turn. and go a long way to track that turn. one down. Nothing better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Randall Gritchick now. The right fielder. Ball to strike. Now a rocket to right center. Way back there. And forget it. It's out of here. Randall Gritchick goes deep. And they cut into the lead. It's 2-1. Zingy, this was a mammoth home run over 460 feet, according to StatCast. You know, Boo, there are only maybe 20 or so guys in the game that can hit a baseball that far, and it's absolutely crazy it's even that many. Such an impressive swing of the bat right there. Jose Iglesias gets a chance to hit now. On to France. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. Rockies edging closer with this shot. And the home team down a run. Back here at Coors Field, on to the third inning. Now, Adam Frazier. The one two. That's towards center. Frazier retired. And there's one down. The first baseman, number 23, Ty 
France. And up next for Seattle, Ty France. And a count one and two. The pitch. Foul ball. Out to center. Snags it for the second out. Now batting, designated hitter, Jesse Winker. At the play, Jesse Winker grounded out his first time. Next pitch, not close, up high. And the righty deals. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Boog, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. That one fouled off. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And that will end the inning. One left for Seattle, but they still lead it two to one. And welcome back. Set for the bottom of the third, and now it's Elias Diaz. Next offering is in for a strike. And a pitch. He swings, floats it into left. And that'll get down for a hit. So now back to the top of the order. Now back, the designated So the batting order turns over. It's Chuck Nasty. 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. Kicks and fires. And he chases that one. One down. You know, Boog, you often think a slider is more for that horizontal movement, Up but most of the good running. ones have both no vertical fielder. depth and that Bridge. horizontal movement, and that's what we saw right there. Oh, a good yes. drop on the break and got him to swing over the top. Chris Bryant digging in for the Rockies. A one-two. Now one miss. The 2-2. Two -two. Now this one's crushed down the line. Hooking foul ball. Well, good solid contact right there. Just a bit out in front of that fastball. Got to try to stay on that backside just a little bit longer and see if you can do some damage. Next offering misses. And now three and two. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. And now the lefty. And a weak ground ball to the left side. Suarez to second, and it's a double play to end the inning. Poetry in motion there as the second baseman turns the double play. Nice throw to first, and that's the way to end the inning. Back here at the ballpark, John Chambi with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, a. Eugenio Suarez. Give it to him, Rockies! Let's do it. 
Next offering is fouled back. And the right hander deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out and one away. JP Crawford up next for the Mariners. He popped out to the catcher his first job on. And a 2 1 on the way. Late swing, foul to the left. Here's the 2 2. And now the count filled up 3 and 2. And he deals. This one high in the air to left center. Brian puts the squeeze on that one. Two down. Now batting the center fielder, Julio Rodriguez. Now here is Julio Rodriguez. He's 0 for 1. Kicks and deals. Strike two. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle two strikes. Bouncer to second. Rogers picks it up on the first. And it's a 1 2 3 inning. Mariners are down in order. They lead it 2 1. Welcome back. And now, Ryan McMahon. The 1 1. And yeah, that's outside. And it's even up. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. The why to kick the pitch. Just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Fly ball, pretty well struck right field. That one's carrying. Just missed getting out of here in time this game. It's a really good swing. He just didn't get quite Number enough of it to beat the wind. It's blowing in from right field right now. So now it's the four hole hitter, CJ Crone. Grounded out his first time up. This one lifted in the air, left field. Kelman under it. Makes the grab for the second out. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead Nevada, of staying closed. Seven. If he does second that, he's going to be able to go up right the middle there. the other way with some authority Roger. instead of a fly out to left. Now it's Brendan Rodgers. Hit it well, but fly it out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. And it is 2-1. Two and one. Two outs. And a 2-1 hammered but foul. Here comes a pitch. That one is absolutely belted. That's back. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. Brendan Rodgers blasts one out, and we're all square. It's 2-2. A breaking ball on the inside part of the plate requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. Jonathan Daza steps to the plate. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. The 1 1 is upstairs, and it's 2 and 1.
Two down, nobody on. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Hanniger makes the catch, and that'll do it. The Rockies get one by way of the long ball. And we're deadlocked now at two apiece. All set for the start of the inning. Here's the left fielder, Jared Kelman. The 2 1. Swing and a miss. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. And a swing and a miss. And there's one away. That right there is one of those breaking balls that you swing through oh, and you feel like yeah. you should have done something with it or at least oh, spoiled it away. Perfect. But when it's breaking in on you like that, if the spin is tight enough, it can actually tie you up. So here's Murphy now. The wind and the pitch. Inside corner for a strike. That's strike two. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Righty delivers. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That one's carrying. And it hits the fence. And he's got a double. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Put a great swing on that pitch to deep center field, and we knew it was going to be close, but just not quite enough. And I'm sure a few of his teammates might be yelling weight room at him right now, but he should definitely feel good about that one. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Now here is Adam Frazier. Does it. Makes the ground, and there's two down. Up next is the out. The first baseman. Ty. Now at the plate, Ty France. One for two with a solo home run back in the first inning. Two outs and one in scoring position. Next offering is down low. Man at second. On the ground to third. Zips it across. That ends the frame. Mariners leave one. And this game is still tied at two and two. Back here in Denver. And now the right fielder, Randall Gritchick. center field and that should be extra bases makes the turn he's digging for second in safely it's a double and his second hit two hits for him in this one both were extra bases got to feel good about that everything was on time and fluid in that swing got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it in the center for the knock those always feel good and the batter will be the shortstop Jose Iglesias and a 1-1 Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. Rodriguez fires it to the plate. It's off the mark, and he scores. It's 3-2. Picks himself up an RBI. Absolutely punished that pitch. Wasn't fooled in the slightest. 109 off the bat. I think that means you put a pretty good swing on it. Here's the catcher, Elias Diaz. 2-2 two, two now. That one just misses.
Runner at first with no outs here. Swings and misses, and one out now. Just a mid 90s challenge fastball right there. Not much to it. And I'm sure he'd love another now swing at it because it was in a very hittable location. Charlie. Those are the swings where Block you can man. sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how did I miss that? But you know what happens? So the Rockies lineup turns over. Here's the Rockies leadoff hitter, Charlie Blackman. And here it comes. That one misses. And it's two and one. The pitch. That catches the corner. And that's downstairs and outside. So here we go. Base runner at first. Could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. At the belt and fires. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Rodriguez on the move. Two away down. Now batting, left fielder, Chris. And at first, Bryant. Chris Bryant gets a chance to hit here. Ray throw the first. No, Iglesias back in on a dive. And a pinch. Run around the move. That's in for a strike. Throw to second. Great jump. And that is a stolen base. It wasn't even close. Well, he picked over once just before the pitch to check on him, but that didn't seem to slow up his jump on the pitch at all. I think that guy's been studying some video. Awesome job to be prepared. Got the timing down, and he gets into scoring position. Ground ball, left side, and foul ball. Starting to get some pretty good timing on that breaking ball, but he's going to have to stay ready for a fastball. Don't want to watch one go right by you. Got him. And that is that. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now a 3-2 ball game. Back here at Coors Field, all set for the top of the sixth. And stepping in for the Mariners, Jesse Winker. The pitch. At the ball. I got two one the count. And that one wrapped foul. Left hand batter waits. And that one hit to first. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Now batting right fielder Mitch Hanniger. Mitch Hanniger up next for the Mariners. Bounced up the middle into the outfield base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team the needs you to come through. It's just base. bigger than your own hey, individual hey, stats. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. One down, runner at first. 
A Eugenio Suarez up to hit down. Next offering is in for a strike. Stays alive. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out of a double play here. The pitch. On the ground, could be two. Off balance feet, there's one. Double play. And that'll do it for the end. Part of the order, three, four, five, coming up. It's the Rockies three and the Mariners two. And welcome back. Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. The wind of the pitch. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Kelman on the move towards the line. Snags it on the run. And a quick out number one. The first baseman, number 25. CJ Crone digging Crone. in for the Rockies. And a pitch. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Kelman makes the play, and there's two down. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay close. The, the second baseman, Brendan. Roger. Here's a 1 1. Rogers in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. Movement in the bullpen. Sergio Romo getting ready to go. Swanson warming up as well. Next pitch is inside. Ball two. Kicks and fires. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. One, two, three go the Rockies. But they're up three to two. Back here at the ballpark, top of inning number seven. Now it's the shortstop, J.P. Crawford. Here's a 1 1. And that one upstairs. The tying run at the plate. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. That's a base hit. And the tying run is on with a leadoff single. No, I didn't get much of that one, but it's going to look like a line drive in the box score tomorrow. Really not a pitch you want to swing at if you don't have to because it's almost impossible to hit anything that far inside with any type of authority. That one tied him up, but still able to guide it into the outfield somehow. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Herman Marquez is done in this one, and he leaves in a one-run game. New pitcher You're coming up. Please. We'll be back in a minute. Now, Robert Stevenson gets handed the rock Number out of the pen. 29. He has a great Robert. slider with tons of movement. Stevenson. And now for Seattle, Julio Rodriguez. Next offering is downstairs. Nobody out. Runner at first. And a swing and a miss. One out. Hood gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike right. situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. But with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs 
they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate, so very difficult to get the barrel on it. Here's Jerry Kelnick. This one smoked out to left. Out number two. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. Two. You're looking for oh. one of those bloop hits Ruby. to get a knock sometimes. Now the Mariners catcher, Tom Murphy. Right-handed reliever. And now the count, one and two after the swing and the miss. Yeah, that's outside. That one missing inside. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Bryant, long run on his horse, and it's caught. And that's the inning. One left for Seattle, and it's still a 3-2 ball game. So out of the bullpen for the Mariners, Sergio Romo. It's his job Number to keep 54, his team in the game. Sergio. Yonathan Daza no. digging in for the Rockies. In the air, left field. Calls it in, and there's one away. Now batting, right fielder, Randall Bridget. pitch the other way and he beats the shift having himself a really nice game at the plate well, just a simple ground ball the other way they had eyes on it man sometimes that's all you need to do just let the ball travel put the ball in the play and just hope it finds a hole one gone runner at first next to hit for the Rockies Jose Iglesias and the righty deals Grounder might be two. One at second. On to first, double play, and that's the inning. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Rockies three and the Mariners two. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Carlos Estevez. Number 54. Carlos. At seven. Welcome back. We're at the top of the eighth. Now it's the second baseman, Adam Frazier. Left hand hitter waits. A little out front there as he swings through it. Activity in the bullpen. Alex Colomay, the anchor of the staff, is getting ready to close this one out. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. The first base, number 23. Ty France up next for the Mariners. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. Looking to get the tying run on base. Got him. And there's two down. 
chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. Now it's the DH, Jesse Winker. And that's just foul. A little early on that fastball, I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch in this next one. Two outs. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. In the air, out towards right center. Does it. Glides back. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Mariners go down quietly there. They're down three to two. Back here in Denver, and now the catcher comes up to him. Elias Diaz. The 1 1. On the ground to third. And it gets by him. Up next to Colorado. Now it's Charlie Blackman. Charlie Blackman. Swing, and this is Rick. Down the right field line. Way back there. Out of here. An absolutely majestic shot. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 5-2. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Really great job of anticipation there. He knows he throws the sinker. That one down in the zone. You're trying to beat it to the spot it's getting to. Well, he won. Chris Bryant digs in now. One for three. Let's go, Chris. Let's go, Chris. Next Let's one misses. Chris. Two balls, two strikes. on the ground softly to short Crawford throws the first in time one away that ground ball may have him back on track after the homer fellow well thrown slider like that one can be tough to get in the air good downward break on that one McMahon Ryan McMahon now at the plate the one one Good eye right there. Righty to the plate. And now it's even up. The pitch. Oh, now this one is blasted to right. Moore, get it. Way back there and gone. Ryan McMahon leaves the yard and they tack one on the board. It's 6-2. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. If you hit the ball that far, you know we're going to check the numbers. Let's go back to the nerd herd and stack pass. That was impressive. Yeah, wow. I mean, they don't hit him much farther than that, dude. Everything's got to come together to hit a ball like that. And he really showed us something right there. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Eric Swanson. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. So one out, nobody on. C.J. Crone will hit next. Mm -hmm. 
Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Two away. Just beautiful placement of the splitter right there. Exactly where you no want it with Number two strikes seven. to get that swing Second and miss, man. He's worked very hard to be able to command that pitch. It's a tough pitch to get a grip on, but he's one of the best at throwing it where he wants to. Next offering is foul back. And the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Oh, that drilled him. And no chance for him to make the play. Let's just hope he's all right. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. Not a bad slider by any means. It was down and away, but an even better job to spoil that thing. And he let it travel, didn't try to hook it. Man, that's a really good approach. And up next for Seattle, a. Eugenio Suarez. The 2-1. Late that time, and it's strike two. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Now one gone in the ninth. Well, that right there is just a pitcher's pitch, tailing away from the hitter, low and away now with some is. good action the at the shot. end. You know, even if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side. Tell you what, that's a tremendous two-strike pitch. Here's the shortstop at the play. J.P. Crawford and a pitch. In the air, left field down the line. And a base hit right there. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Anything but pretty right there, but he'll take it every time. Just a blue hit behind third right there, and that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to, and the same for the left fielder, so he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. New pitcher in the game for the Rockies, Alex Collins. And now the center fielder, Julio Rodriguez. Colome deals. Left field, way back there. That one's got a chance. Up against the wall, and makes the catch. Try to take on the wind in left field right there. Just a little too much traffic up in the air. Mother Nature won that one. It's hard to say, but I think that might be gone otherwise. So first and second with two outs. Jared Kelman up next for the Mariners. Kicks and deals. Gets under and pops it up. Pulls it in and that's the ball game. These guys have the long ball working for them today. Four home runs had a lot to do with them coming out on top. And your final six to two. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, John Shelby saying so long.